I'd like to call to order the uh, Hammond Capital Improvements Board meeting for April 5th, 2021. Uh, will the clerk call the roll, please? Flores. Krasinski. Here. Prieto. Here. Spitali. Here. Tyler. Here. Benez. Here. Button. Here. Let the record reflect six present, one absent. Next item on the agenda, we have a presentation from the engineering department's Mr. Mark Gordish on the 2021 Hammond Street resurfacing program. Mr. Gordish, would you bless us with your kind words? Thank you, Mr. President and Mr. and Ms. and commissioners, I should say. Sorry. Uh, today I'm presenting a multiple list of street overlay projects that was selected based on a survey that was done back in early, well, probably late March when everything pretty much shut down. So we, we surveyed the streets, drove them all, and came up with a list. And basically we took the raw data and put them on all the districts with a signifying reconstructions, overlays, crack seal, and no construction needed. Basically, the no construction needed is if it's been overlaid recently or crack sealed. So it falls in that realm. Now, crack sealing, the street can be still saved and be viable for a time being. Uh, then the next category would be overlays, which basically we can get five to 10, maybe a little bit longer out of years of the street projects. And the worst ones are one to three. And those are reconstructions. Basically they're shot, the curves are shot. Everything is in bad shape. There's a few, I think a gentleman came here, Alexander is one that's in, pretty bad shape, but that's gonna be more extensive. Just an overview of the list, it's about $30,000 a block, which is about 600 feet. And that includes adjusting casting, so forth like that. If something needs to be done, the sewer department's been out there helping us to do a casting that uh, has issues, a drainage structure. Now. This has been disseminated to the water department and the sewer department for their input, and they did provide some input on it. Now, how we did this, or I, pretty much going through, picking out the overlays and putting them in there, where some districts are, need more overlays than others. First district did a lot of crack sealing in the past couple years. And we'd had some input from the councilman. So we looked at those, I looked at those, and sat down with the other people in the office and pretty much concurred. Uh, did a, a Google search, Google Earth, and made sure everything was taken care of with that. So this represents about 270 miles of streets that was looked at. Uh, our college-bound individuals or took the information, the raw data, and put it in on these maps, so we just want to verify them. Now, this information is basically opinion. So Dean or I can go out there, or Jonathan, and basically have different ideas, but we should be in that realm of very close to each other, maybe one off or so, which we feel needs to be done. So basically, in front of you, I believe, you have the list of all the streets. Columbia Avenue Bridge, that was added because the approaches are horrendous. That's right by um, Summer Street, the intersection. Douglas Street was added. That was due to some of the work downtown Hammond with the bike lanes and so forth. So obviously, we don't want to drive a bike over that. So if you want to look at the list and if you have any questions, it's approximately $1.9 million. 
it's probably a good estimate and probably be maybe just a slightly higher or lower depending upon what we found or find in the future. Sometimes we found uh, two inches of asphalt over sand. So obviously we have to turn around and do some extra work with the stone and so forth. So, Any questions? Any questions for Mr. Gordish? Mr. Gordish. Mr. Krasinski. Uh, yes, sir. Your, your cost estimate uh, per block, I understand. Is the city uh, entered into a, a new contract for uh, asphalting by any companies or is that coming up? Has it been done already? We have, we're allowed under state law to extend a contract and we felt it would be best to do so. So these numbers are pretty well solid from year to year. It's Walsh and Kelly, now it's called uh, Milestone. Okay. So that has been signed through the Board of Public Works and Safety and accepted. Thank you. It's, that's both knowledge for, for us here as well as for what I need to do at the Port Authority. So thank you very much. Thank you, uh, Councilman Krasinski, or Commissioner Krasinski. Any other questions for Mr. Gordish? Mr. President. Councilman Spitali. Yeah, on that one through three, which is a reconstruction, what does reconstruction consist of? What is, is that talking about uh, curbs or just a road, or what does that consist of? Pretty much it consists of everything you said. Uh, curbs, road, we'll take a look at the sewers. Uh, basically, when a project is looked at, if we can overlay it and extend the time frame and save money for five to 10 years, or if it's pretty much failed, meaning it's obliterated the street, that's when we have to go to a reconstruction. Can you uh, go from the beginning, uh, somehow the uh, whole thing went out uh, when you were talking? I didn't hear it, I'm sorry. He missed what you said, Mark. Can, oh, sure. Can you repeat? A reconstruction is, consists of basically curbs, sidewalks, underground utilities such as water, sewer. Uh, if there's a issue with basement backup, we address that. And pretty much the pavement section is beyond uh, saving. Okay, thank you. Sure. Thank you, Councilman Spitali. Mark, do you uh, recall what what we typically spend in overlays? Is this is this sure. pretty reasonable in terms of is this, this this basically falls into the ballpark? And prior to this board, it was uh, the street projects were given or presented to us by the councilman. Now. It varied from year to year, but on the average, it was probably two to two point five million. Yeah, so we're right in the ballpark for what we would normally approve. And I would just like to add this: there are other smaller issues that I will be presenting. One is um, in the first district, which uh, alleyway has been unimproved, and a person has a unique situation where they don't have access to their garage. So I'm going to be presenting that and a few other minor issues, flooding or street issues that we need to dress up due to the overlays because the overlays don't address curbs. So there's going to be ponding issues and one gentleman on 169th Street right off of home and had an issue with uh, during the winter when it melted it just locked up and it's a mess. So I'm going to be presenting those, and there are, I've had a couple other requests for overlays, which will be minor compared to this approximately $2 million. Thank you. Yeah, we're just, uh, at this stage, we're um, just trying to get in the queue for funding available. Um, we, don't, we don't have funds at this particular point in time, but we want to, we know that other, other needs are there and we want to try to establish an annual uh, spend on resurfacing. We, we didn't do a lot of resurfacing in 2020. Correct. Uh, we kept that to a, a very minimum. And so we lo basically lost a year on our regular program. And so while, uh, while we are at or on the low side of our normal spend for resurfacing, we're going to want to 
you know, respect what this board has available to spend and still try to do what we need to do to, to keep our streets, you know, in, in, a, in a, as good a condition as we can. Absolutely. Thank you, Mark. I appreciate the uh, presentation. Um, at this point, we'll just take this matter uh, under advisement for our list. Uh, next item on the agenda is uh, consideration of the past meeting minutes. Is there a motion to approve the past meeting? M Mr. President. Mr. Uh, Commissioner Krasinski. Yes, I'd like to make a motion to approve the minutes of the March 15th, 2021 board meeting. It's been moved to uh, consider the minutes as presented. Is there a second? Second. Seconded by Council uh, Commissioner Prieto. Uh, is there any discussion? Any discussion? Any discussion? It's been moved and seconded to approve the meeting, past meeting minutes. May I have a roll call on the minutes, please? Flores. Krasinski. Yes. Prieto. Yes. Spitali. Yes. Tyler. Yes. Venez. Yes. Button. Yes, motion passes six present, one absent. Uh, if the uh, next item on the agenda is a report on the work study session, if the commissioners will allow, I would like to just give a brief presentation. Uh, we went through the agenda for tonight's meeting. Um, next on the agenda, we talked about the project request form. There were a couple of additional items that we wanted to add, particularly uh, board member names. Yeah, the board members. Well, we had some changes changes to the form, my form is here, and where to return the form to. Uh, engineering department has made uh, a, a complete, uh, an online form uh, to be able to complete, and uh, so that version will be ready. There was some uh, uh, comments from uh, the Corporation Council about uh, certain items uh, contained on the project request form, so that's uh, action for the uh, the board presidents uh, to, to talk to the Corporation Council about that. Um, but we'd like to go online. We would like to uh, make a notification in the water bill that this form is available and where they could, where that can be found and how, do, how we could distribute that to those that don't have access to their, uh, to, uh, uh, by computer. <coughs> also project updates were given on uh, the current Chicago Street Phase 1 and phase two, uh, the status of the design of Summer Street and a possible congressional earmark application uh, that we were gonna make. Any questions on the work study session? Questions or comments? Questions or comments? Okay, uh, next item on the agenda is funding. Unfortunately, uh, Commissioner Flores could not be in attendance this evening and so we don't, do not have a report. Uh, item seven is uh, matters from the mayor or the mayor's office. Uh, matters from any, any council members, any, any members from the uh, Hammond Common Council wish to be addressed by this board. Any members from the council and any members from the council? None. Uh, department heads, any, any members from the department heads wishing to speak? I see that uh, our esteemed Matt Muta from the Hammond Sanitary District is present today. We are grateful that you are here. Um, we talked uh, a little bit about some projects uh, that are you know, online. I would say, uh, as Mark mentioned, we, made, uh, we reached out to Jack Smith about the, uh, the overlay program. I know Jack had a few corrective actions he wanted to make on White Oak, and he was undertaking those, so we should be ready to do the uh, resurfacing program if it can be approved. Um, and we thank you for attending. Mr. President, I have a question for Matt. Yes, yes. Matt, can you maybe, uh, enlighten us a little bit more? The last time we had a meeting, we talked to uh, Marty about uh, a force main break that was in the IHB uh, rail yard. Do we have any uh, update on that? He said that was... Uh, very concerning to the uh, sanitary district. If, if you have an update, could you come to the podium, please? So the maintenance department has been out there for about a week. Um, 
it's under control. Um, the repairs are ongoing. I think they're gonna be done with it in the next couple of weeks. But um, it's, it's under control. I was out there, I was out there on Friday and um, they had finished pumping down the chamber. And <clears throat> like I said, I think probably, I think probably two weeks, maybe, probably, maybe even shorter, it, it depends. You know, I'm, I'm, I'm thinking two weeks, depending on weather. So okay. that's really about it. Thank you. Yeah, um, so it was consistent with the other uh, problem we had a couple years ago on Kennedy, not far from there, St. Force, Maine. We had an issue that closed Kennedy Avenue to make repair in the middle of the street. Um, this one's under the railroad tracks. Um, engineering has, department has not been involved at this stage. Pretty good. Thank you. Thank you, Matt, for uh, the update. We appreciate the impromptu report. Any other department heads uh, wishing to address the board? Being none. Any? Uh, let's. Uh, next item on the agenda is old business. I don't have any old business. Does the uh, board members have any old business? Old business. Next item is new business. We don't have any funding allocations. Any new business to present to the board? New business? New business, no. Uh, last item on the agenda is public expression. I don't think anybody from the public has signed up for the public expression. Is there anyone wishing to address the board from the public? I see my, my friend, uh, consultant friend, Brian Poehler is, is present. I don't expect him to, to make a comment at this time. Any, uh, final call, uh, any member from the public wishing to address this board? Being none, I would ask for a call for adjournment. Go ahead. No, go ahead. No, go ahead. Go ahead. No, you first. I call to adjourn. Thank you, uh, Commissioner Prieto. Is there a second? I'll, I'll second, and the next meeting is scheduled for the Thank you. Uh, welcome. 19th. You're, you're, you, I appreciate your diligence. Yes, the next meeting scheduled for April 19th uh, with a work study session at 4 and a regular meeting at 5. Currently, there is no items uh, that have been presented to me for a regular meeting on April 19th. I would ask that uh, the commissioners uh, think about a, a, a scale rating from one to 10 on uh, the public health item and the quality of place item to get to the board as part of our uh, work study program so that we can push the, that pro process forward uh, for the next meeting. And we should hopefully talk a little bit more and get adopted the final project request form at that next meeting. I, uh, so may, that might be an action for this board at the next meeting would be adoption of the uh, the request, the project request form. So look for that. Um, it's been moved and seconded for adjournment. All in favor signify by saying aye. 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 Any opposed? Motion carries. We are adjourned.